Good morning everyone and welcome back to the channel. In today's episode I want to talk with you about the new limited edition 27mm f2.8 TT Artisans lens for Fujifilm mount. In my opinion, taking street photography doesn't mean to be discreet. In fact, as you probably have seen already in this channel, I have uh, a really bright yellow Leica. And I like the idea that people actually look at me when I'm taking uh, uh, their photos. So when I saw this yellow lens, I just said one thing. I have to buy it. Not because I need a 27 millimeter lens, but uh, I actually love the colors and uh, I'm so sad of the fact that I can't paint my Fujifilm yellow uh, but uh, okay at least uh, I can have a yellow lens and this is the first colored lens that I actually own and uh, well it's it arrives just a couple of weeks ago uh, I purchased immediately uh, as soon as it was available and uh, well I want to talk with you a little bit about this lens. First things first, I purchased it on uh, AliExpress and despite not purchasing on the official uh, TT Artisans uh, store, I purchased from one of the uh, affiliate, one of the store that is uh, considered kind of official from uh, TT Artisan. And uh, for the same price as just the lens, I selected an option where in addition to the lens, I got this really cute, I don't know if you can see it, taxi uh, stuff that can be mounted on top of the camera. And despite being completely useless, I really love it. I like the idea. Uh, it came with uh, a pouch to keep the lens. Nothing special but uh, yeah better than nothing of course and uh, a professional kit for cleaning your lens so a blower uh, one of these kind of uh, microfiber uh, clothes and uh, the uh, pen that helps to uh, clean the lens a little bit better uh, the box uh, that comes with this lens it's uh, really nice and bright uh, orange so we were used to black or white one, but uh, I like the idea that even this one, uh, they try to, again, get close to the lens itself, even from a design perspective. And what it comes together with the uh, lens, in addition, of course, of the uh, front cap, as well as the, uh, how you call it, not the diffuser, but uh, uh, the things that uh, is, usually attached in front of the lens to protect any kind of uh, additional light to come uh, in, is this uh, base. This base that has a, a USB-C mount here allows you to update uh, the firmware of the lens itself. Now, uh, I think this is the worst part of the whole uh, kit even more than the professional cleaning set because uh, it's in my opinion it's badly done it was so hard to remove the lens from this adapter that uh, I, I was scared am i breaking something honestly so uh, that also brings you to don't have a rear cup for the lens because uh, you only have this one so it's not the best solution i like the idea that yes you can update your firmware but uh, i don't i don't like the way that actually this is uh, done it's the first time for me to see something like that on the uh, tt artisan line uh, if you have any other experience on something like this uh, let me know in the comments down below because I'm uh, extremely curious to understand if uh, it's just this or it's something that, uh, well, they are, they are making this way, so they should try to improve. But let's go back to the 
uh, to the lens, right? Uh, again, the lens uh, from uh, a visual perspective, uh, again, I really love the idea of having this uh, uh, yellow lens. It's out of focus, allows you to select uh, the aperture from 2.8 uh, to 16, or you can put all the way to A and let the camera uh, choosing the best uh, aperture uh, for, uh, for the scene, for the subject that you are actually uh, taking. Um, Picture-wise, I'm showing to you in these videos what I have uh, actually taken. I took with this one, so the XT one camera and uh, i tried uh, different aperture and different shutter speed in order to again figure it out how the lens actually perform in terms of uh, rendering uh, we know well at least i, I feel like uh, a fujifilm uh, uh, color rendering is really nice and uh, the lens itself is helping to uh, obtain uh, this uh, uh, nice uh, uh, color on uh, on the pictures but i have noticed a couple of points that uh, in my opinion should be uh, assessed uh, in case you are looking for uh, this lens uh, first of all it can be because of the size but i actually felt like changing the aperture it's a little bit too hard i i don't know i probably more used to a smoother way of changing the aperture. This is clickable and you have uh, aperture uh, in between the, uh, the different uh, uh, values. Uh, so intermediate click, as you can see. But uh, I feel like it's, uh, again, it's a little bit hard. Probably having this part uh, that is uh, uh, protruding here a little bit protruding a little bit more could have helped in my opinion, uh, but uh, it's again I felt like it's not the the best. I hope that using it uh, it will be a little bit better. On the other hand, the uh, focus ring the one that is in here in front. Uh, this is smooth and uh, it's a type that uh, it continues to uh, go around so it doesn't block when uh, it reach the maximum uh, distance. So it's uh, it's definitely a good, uh, uh, a good one. Uh, and focus wise, again, this is an auto focus uh, lens. It's relatively uh, fast uh, in uh, focusing. Again, the camera itself is old, so probably with new uh, Fujifilm cameras actually uh, can perform even better. Uh, but I have noticed that uh, in some of the picture, despite the sound uh, of uh, having the photo in uh, focus, uh, the photo didn't come out in, uh, in focus. It happens more than once, but uh, Again, it, it was just the first time for me actually to use this lens, so uh, it may be just uh, a case, it may be just uh, the camera. So uh, I will continue to use it, uh, not just because I really love the color, uh, but I want to test with, uh, with another Fujifilm camera in order to figure it out if the performance actually uh, change with a little bit more modern uh, camera, despite the, Actually, I don't have so modern one because the newest one is the XH1. Uh, but uh, yeah, we, we will try it out and uh, show in the channel if uh, uh, there is any uh, any major update on on this. But uh, yeah, in general, I feel like from a price perspective, it's extremely affordable. I think I paid 165 bucks for the whole package, uh, and again, it's a limited edition, so I honestly don't know how many they made and uh, for how long it will be uh, on sale uh, but uh, I feel like it's uh, a nice uh, uh, lens to add to your uh, um, kit uh, if uh, uh, if you want to take some uh, 
some, especially a straight photography uh, pictures. Uh, it's wide enough to, again, provide you a perspective that uh, uh, it's good for uh, uh, straight photography. It's not the best lens uh, for a portrait perspective uh, if you are not going close. Uh, to the to the subject uh, but uh, yeah it's uh, in general it's a, it's a really small lens so uh, it's it's even compact and easy to uh, to bring uh, with you around that's all for me for today uh, I hope that you like uh, the photos that I have taken uh, if you have any question or any specific type of uh, test that you want me to try to perform uh, with this lens, the 27mm uh, 2.8 TT Artisan lens, and it's only for a Fuji mount, um, please let me know in the comments down below. Thank you for watching and uh, uh, till next time, stay click. Bye! Oh, 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 oh,